have in this uh, knowledge sharing platform, we have Mrs. Ruhi, Ruhi Ranjan Ma with her beautiful presentation on anger management. Ma, please. Thank you, everyone. Respected father, headmaster's ma'am, wife, pillar pearls, and dear teachers, greetings to everyone. Do you find yourself fuming when someone cuts you off in traffic? Yes, um, yes, yes. I do. Yes. Okay. Yes. Anyone who would like to share one particular thing that makes you angry in your daily life? Anyone? I yes, want to share. I want to share. can you answer this? One particular thing that makes you angry in your daily life? Yes. Work not just Work not just Okay. Anyone else would like to answer? Yes, sir. Remember? Bad parking sense of the teachers or staff. So only the bad parking sense of the teachers. Transmitted to everyone standing. 
て見上げてくる。It affects the emotional and the physical health of people standing near him. It makes the environment poisonous. So we need this. That is, this is our anger free zone. Growth, mood, chip. क्योंकि गुस्सा सेहत के लिए हानिकारक होता है। Now let us try to understand that what is anger? Anger is a basic human emotion and it is experienced by everyone. Anger is typically triggered by emotional hurt. Anger is usually experienced as an unpleasant feeling that occur when we feel that we are mistreated or we are opposed in our long-held views or when we are faced with obstacles that keep us away from attaining our personal goals. Now let us see that what are the causes of anger. Anger can be caused by internal or external factor. Okay, and what are the internal factors? We may be angry at specific person. That may be your co-worker, supervisor, or your family members. You may be angry because of an event, traffic jam, cancelled or delayed flights. Anger can also be caused by worrying about your personal problems. Memories of traumatic and embracing events can even trigger your anger feelings. <coughs> See, there can be shame, guilt, hurt, jealousy, embarrassment. These can be the possible reasons behind anger. How does our body react to anger? What do you feel? That your blood will start boiling or your eyes will turn red? No. This doesn't happen. But yes, our body experiences certain changes. What happens? Our heart pumps faster as if it is coming out of our body. Blood pressure rises. Blood flow quickens. Muscles tense. Now, having said all this, does it mean that anger is bad? Or anger is sin? Let's see, there are some myths about anger. We should not express our anger. Anger is bad. Anger is sin. No, I don't mean this. What I actually mean is already said by Bilsina. See, I mean this. Anyone can become angry. That is easy. But to be angry with the right person, to the right degree, at the right time, for the right purpose, and in the right way, this is not Quoted by Aristotle. We all have read this quote somewhere. But what happens is that we fail to practice this in our daily life. On this note, I would like to share a story with you all. The title of my story is Alexander the Great Meets an Indian Yogi. Please don't sleep, okay? And listen to this carefully. Control your anger. When Alexander the Great came to India, he found that Indians were a race of brave, fearless people. He made friends with them. When he was about to return to his country, he remembered that his people had asked him to bring to them an Indian yogi. They had heard a lot about yogis and were very desirous of seeing one, meeting him, hearing him speak, and receiving his blessings. Alexander was told that yogis dwelt in the forest. In the quest of a yogi, he went to a forest. Sure enough, he found one sitting underneath a tree in deep meditation. He waited patiently until the yogi 
opened his eyes. They shone with a strange mystic light. Reverently, Alexander requested the yogi to accompany him to Greece, saying, I will give you everything you need or ask for. But pray, do come with me. My people would love to meet you. The yogi quietly answered, I need nothing. I am happy where I am. This was the first time that anyone had turned down Alexander's request. He could not control himself. He flew into a race and unsleeping his sword, he thundered, Do you know who is speaking to you? I am the great king Alexander. If you will not listen to me, I shall kill you, cut you into pieces. Unperturbed, the yogi answered, You cannot kill me. You can kill only kill my body. And the body is just a garment I have worn. I am not the body. I am that which dwells within the body. The yogi continued, You say you are king. May I tell you who you are? You are a slave of my slave. Stunned, Alexander asked, How am I a slave of your slave? In a voice tender with compassion, the yogi explained, I have mastered anger. Anger is my slave. See how easy you gave way to anger. You are a slave of anger and therefore a slave of my slave. So this story has a deep impact on me and I believe that it has the power to change the mind of highly egoistic person. Are you all awake or you are sleeping? Have you heard the story? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no, we have read it. You have read it. Yeah. Okay. Revision. Okay. So see, no anger inside means no enemy outside. As we already said, that anger is completely normal and usually healthy human emotion. But when it gets out of control, it tends to be destructive. And it leads to problems. Problems at your workplace, problems in your daily life, or in the overall quality of your life. Anger is one letter short of danger. Failing to deal with your anger can lead to accidents, tensions, health problems, interpersonal problems. Uncontrolled anger can be very dangerous. It can even lead to abuse, crime, or even more violent behavior. So here comes anger management. Anger management doesn't mean getting rid of all the anger, but using anger to enhance your life. So we can look at the purpose of anger in both positive and negative light. So it is very important to understand anger because the way you express it, it can be helpful or it can be harmful. Venting your anger, you may get fired up and you can overcome your obstacles and you can attain your goals. In this way, anger is helpful. But when you avoid or you express your anger in negative way, it can hurt you as well as others. So in this way it will be harmful. Anger management would be seen as increasing the positive aspects and functions of anger and decreasing the negative functions of anger. Again, uh, next story that is story of the snake and the saw. Please pay attention because at last I will be asking what is the moral of the story. 
Snape story. How anger hurt us. A snake penetrated into our carpentry workshop. As it slipped, it passed over a saw and got slightly wounded. Suddenly, it turned and bit the saw. Biting the saw, the snake seriously got wounded in its mouth. Then, not understanding what was happening, thinking that the saw was attacking him, it decided to roll around the saw to suffocate it with all its body by squeezing it with all its strength. But it ended up being killed by the saw. See the picture, what happened to the snake. So anyone who would like to tell me what is the moral of the story? Abhin sir, you are laughing. Please tell me what is the moral of the story? Make your body so hard that you can break the saw. <laughs> Don't be afraid of saw. Actually, this is not the moral of the story. I'm sorry. Because the solid people in the China they are doing. Sorry, it. sorry, sir. But this is not the moral of the story. You may not. Anyway, what is the moral of the story? Anger, Anger makes you more sensible <laughs> rather than the other one. So you can minimize it, reduce it, otherwise it will be more problematic for you or anyone. Okay. Okay. Anger is self-destructive if it is not with the right person. Okay. Yes ma'am. Anger is self-destructive. Self-destructive. Yeah. Well said ma'am. Anger is self-destructive. This was the best line. Thank you ma'am. Now let's see what is the model of the story. <coughs> Moral of the story, sometimes we react in anger to hurt those who have harmed us. But we realize after all that we are being hurt ourselves. In life, it is better sometimes to ignore situations, ignore people, ignore their behaviors, their words. Sometimes it is better not to react so as not to suffer consequences that can sometimes be deadly or harmful. Do not let hate take over your life because love is stronger than anything. Holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. But at last, you are the one who gets burned. Now I will tell you mantra to overcome anger, which we can practice in our daily life. Easy tips and easy steps. So let's see what is the mantra to overcome anger. Whenever you are frustrated, angry or upset, remember one, two, three, turtle. Now what is the first step? Go inside your shell. Think before you act. Take time out. Second step. Take three deep breaths. Just relax. Calm down. And the third step is walk away. Shift the center of focus. Okay? And try to think of good solution. And here comes the importance of anger management. The goal of anger management is to reduce emotional feelings. Both the emotional feelings and the physiological arousal that anger causes. See, we cannot get rid of or we cannot avoid everything or all the people that can raise you. But at least we can learn to control our reaction. Now I have a video here and let's wait for two minutes. Amit sir, please help me out. Control and the stories for kids. Anger is often referred to as a wind that blows out the lamp of the mind. Here are nice
stories to tell your kids about the importance of controlling anger. As adults, we all are aware of the importance of controlling one's anger. But how do you teach that to kids? And kids nowadays are not only demanding, they have big temper as well. Now let's watch a video. Names in the pants. Only the boy with his parents. His parents were very sad because the boy had a very bad temper. The boy would get angry very soon and use angry words. He would scold the kids. Neighbors and even his friends. So his friends and neighbors avoided him. His mother and father explained to him in many ways to give up his anger and become kind. But all their attempts failed. Finally, his father thought of an idea. One day, his father gave him a huge bag of nails. He asked his son to hammer one nail into the fence every time he became angry and lost his temper. The boy found this very funny but agreed to do what his father had said. Every time he lost his temper, he ran to the fence and hammered a nail. On the first day, he drove 30 nails into the fence. In the next few days, the number of nails hammered reduced to half. The little boy found it very difficult to hammer the nails and decided to control his temper. Gradually, the number of nails hammered to the fence reduced and the day came when no nail was hammered. He told his father that it had been several days since he hammered a nail to the fence. That meant that he hardly lost his temper. Now his father told him to gradually remove the nails every day. The boy was able to pull out almost all the nails. There remained a few nails that he could not remove. His father appreciated him and asked him, pointing to the holes left in the fence after removing the nails. What do you see there? The boy replied, holes in the fence. The father explained, the nails for the bad temper you hammered on paper. You have removed the nails, but seen the holes left by them in the fence. Your bad temper was like that. They left a scar on people's mind. And those nails that you could not remove are like the scars that will remain permanently on a person's mind. So, we should try to control our anger. The boy had now understood what his parents were trying to explain to him and promised to be a polite boy. The moral of the story is, let our words be kind and sweet. Yes. What was the lesson to be learned? Any other lesson that you have learned after watching this? Would you like to share? Nothing. Yes, Kalpana, ma'am, would you like to share? I'll share. You will share later on. Okay. Okay. You will not be punished for your anger. You will be punished by your anger. How to deal with angry feelings effectively? Identify the emotional baggage from childhood issues. Identify the stressors and learn stress management techniques and relaxation skills. Take steps to establish real communication skills. Learn to state your true feelings. Learn to recognize your body reaction to anger. Attempt to see things from other person's perspective. Now see, I have some more tips to prevent and control anger. This is an anger prevention kit. And remember, a mastic has a head but no brain. Do not become a master. 
Every one of us have both head and brain. We are not mastics. So let's see what is the first tip in this anger prevention kit. The first tip is, the key to anger reduction is knowing yourself. Be self-aware. Do important jobs now before they become urgent. Don't be lazy, otherwise you will end up being angry. When you make mistakes, learn from them rather than getting angry. Don't criticize and complain because it makes you angry. Learn to say no. Most problems are really the absence of ideas. Think ahead. Anticipate. Do it or get it done. You will be less angry. Organize your mind and organize your desk for five minutes every hour. This, I'm really impressed by this line that is, accept what you cannot change and change what you cannot accept. Jo pasand nahi hai, use badal lal. Aur jise badal nahi sakte, use apna lal. Pata kaise chale ga? Yes sir, pala point ka. Self-awareness. Okay, that I tell, that was the first tip. Self-aware. The most common occupational disease of a poor executor is its inability to listen. The result is anger. Patient listening is very important and listen to understand. Never reply to a letter or email when you are angry. Work is the best remedy for all angers. Men who do not know how to fight anger die young. Only men, men. No, women also. Okay. <laughs> men and women go. Okay. Gender bias occurs. Some people women know how to manage anger. Indecisions makes you angry. Therefore, decide this way or that way. You cannot change others. As easily, you can change yourself. Do not catch your employees or your students or children doing wrong things. It will make you angry. Catch them doing right things as well. Now see, why I am talking about anger management? Okay, because CBSC has asked all the schools affiliated to it to make an effort to convert the premises into no anger zone or anger free zone. What is that? That is anger free school. So anger free school, A stands for attitude of gratitude. N, no to bad mood. G, go ahead of solutions. E, empathy always. That is ability to sense other person's emotion. R, resilience. What does this word mean? This word means adapting to difficult or challenging life experiences through emotional, behavioral or mental flexibility. F, free from negative thoughts. R, reinforcing positivity in eradicating criticism and again e, that is empowering oneself. See, I hope that all of you will agree that a joyful learning environment and happy school can do wonders for the holistic development of our students. A learning approach like school should be devoid of all the negativity so that we can all contribute to make our world a better place for the students by infusing positivity in everything around them. Fit India Program.
program. I hope you are aware of this program, that is Fit India program. This program is started by our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And the Fit Mind is a creative mind and is capable of contributing to society. Long-term effects of uncontrolled anger include increased anxiety, high blood pressure, and headache. In this anger-free zone, everyone will try to manage his, her anger. Whether it is the school educators, parents, school personnel, or other stakeholder. See, all these things, which in your program, anger management, anger free school, importance of gratitude, addressing socio-economic needs of uh, students, all these things are interrelated. Making our school anger free zone will help our students in developing effective skills and in eradicating emotions like fear, disrespect, hurt, humiliation, which are by product of anger. Students shall go back home more charged up and happy and definitely will want to return back to their school the next day. Now, how we can make our school anger free? What should be the role of the teachers, students and parents? The role of teachers encourage anger prone children to avoid situations that will cause anger and help prepare them for situations that may be unavoidable. Encourage the child to slow down and think before he or she acts. Teach, we should teach basic manage, basic anger management techniques like breathing exercises or doing some kind of activity. Now what should be the role of the students? The student should be self-aware. Student must identify the problem, the root cause and put into words so that they can act rather than react. They should be able to think of the possible solutions. They should be able to do critical thinking because staying calm is always better option. What should be the role of the parents? They should talk to their child. They should be the role model. They should practice kind, firm and positive parenting. They should show their love through their action. Tips for those who wish to adopt this initiative. We can place a signboard at the reception. This is anger free zone. I have already shown you a slide representing this, that this is anger free zone. So we can have this signboard at the reception area or strategic locations in school. We can take up some exercises or activities, breathing exercises in our classroom. Okay, in a sports period, arts period, recognize and reward improvement, record experiences. Now, what are the key takeaways? Teachers, parents, and management staff will all be expected to manage to speak and behave politely with a smile. See, smile is very important. Okay? Schools will encourage practices like smiling at each other, breathing exercises, and practicing mindfulness. Raising children to be good citizens and people cannot be the school's responsibility. As society, as parents, as family members, we all are accountable for the future generation of the world. Now let us all promise that when I am frustrated, angry or upset, what I will do? I will close my eyes, come down to 10, have a glass of water, listen to your favorite music, go for a walk, ask for a break. Love, pray, forgive. 
take time to smell the flowers and taste the strawberries. और इससे पहले कि आप सभी को मुझ पर गुस्सा आ जाए अगर ये सेशन दो बजे से पहले माइंडअप नहीं हुआ तो आई एंड माई सेशन होप दिस वॉज हेल्पफुल क्योंकि गुस्सा सेहत के लिए हानिकारक होता है थैंक यू
he's the adult now. Thank you, Rohi Ma'am, for the opportunity. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. As Rohi Ma'am has touched almost all the things, I would just like to say the same thing. Uh, that anger is not something negative. It is a basic human emotion. How we react to it, how we respond to that anger makes it positive or negative. And since we as teachers are dealing with around 50 students in a class all together in one section, it is our responsibility, as Kalula Ma'am said, to first practice not being angry. Then only we can teach or preach to our students to behave in a certain manner, to follow a certain code of conduct in the classroom. That's all I would like to say. Hello. Already most of the points are already discussed. But to deal with the children or the students, while keeping in mind that each and every student are unique, their basics every day, each day is a new day, and they have a different expectation from the teacher. We conduct for the different activities inside the classroom. And uh, I found it that earlier while conducting the quiz, in the last moment, the children became restless. So, while keeping in mind, in the last two to three minutes, I gave them the discipline now. And the uh, A, B, C row, all of them will get the mark on the basis of the same regarding the self-control. Huh? And I got the better experience in the class. Otherwise, what happens, the row which wins, they are excited and instead of making the activity, they can do the different activity. Howling. So we should control like that, the different one. Similarly, already told the good team, madam, that uh, regarding the good morning is good. And I have felt it, not only one year, from the day to 15 years, regular basis, the children used to say good morning. And I used to say accordingly also the same thing with also the children. Good morning, good morning. I have to say, you have to sit down. And I could see there, on the eve of the teacher's day, still our student are the regional manager at the Bangalore, and they have made the website also, accordingly. So you have to win the heart of a student by one way or another way, and every teachers are having, and they are doing it in one way or another way. Thank you very much. Good afternoon everybody. With all beautiful and beneficial suggestions, I just want to uh, add something to it, share what I once or twice till day try to exercise in my class to manage anger among students. What happened? One day, uh, while I was teaching, there something actually happened in between two students. So one uh, was furious, very much. So I wanted to divert his attention and made him to engage into sudden burst of activity. So I asked him, please stand, take a couple of seconds and ask him, go for reverse counting at least from 100 to 80. That worked. Second time also, I applied the same method. That worked. So hence, I feel this is tested and trusted. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I would request Metali ma'am that with the help of students ma'am, we can have, the, with the permission of father, okay, we can have this sign book. That is anger free zone, okay, at different places. Okay. You, we can have different type of sign boards, we can use different type of quotations which can be placed at different places around our school. We will sure implement this in our school because it is essential because as we read the codes also, somewhere in the corridors or wherever, then the students might take initiative and slowly, slowly they will have that practice also so that they should not be angry with anybody else or how to behave with the teachers and everything. Even class teachers can 
also do this in their classroom. We can have paintings, we can have posters, we can have drawings. Anyone else who would like to add anything? Yes, Father, would you like to add anything? What covered? <laughs> so which tip, Father, you are going to follow? I have given so many tips. Which one is your personal favorite? Please tell me. Combination. Consider, <laughs> please. Based on situation. Yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Prabhu ma'am. I cannot be controlled. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Going in the temple, she went to the temple. Went to the temple with one of the boys saying that he is his brother. Okay. But when a mother came, that brother changed to some other person. <laughs> so I could not control the anger. Okay. And I slapped that girl in front of my mother. Mother said, Man, you give one more slap from my son. <laughs> Mother was genuine also. <laughs> Good question. Mother was genuine. She was cheating during the examination with the mobile. She was caught with the mobile. That's why mother was caught. Okay. So it is anger cannot be controlled. Um, anger cannot be controlled. So you are not in favor of anger free school. I am there. I am there. But what it is hard. It's very tough. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, Tony sir. That is, I think you replied to this question and you said that you never become angry. But yesterday you were angry. Please tell me how would you like to control your anger? Yeah, anger is an emotion. Yes. It is an exhaust of our body. Otherwise, uh, physical problems can occur in our body. Okay, I okay. become uh, so if the things are going wrong, all will become anger. All will become. For me, it will take some two days for my body to become normal when I become anger. So I channelize my anger in different ways. So I, how you control it? What do you do? Yeah, that's very uh, very difficult to say because in the when I go to the room, <laughs> the mirror is there. So so many. <laughs> uh, so many my things will occur. Okay. I can analyze my anger. Uh -huh. so I will, sometimes I will not go in the direct way. If I am angry with that person, some in that way, I will go. And here, so you don't have option also. You have the option here only. I think you are alone here. Yeah? You have that option only. <laughs> Taking out your anger on the mirror. Now our students are very smart. With a smiling face, we cannot do any punishment. In your class, if anything happens, whether with a smiling face, do you have, give any punishment? No. no. Then how we can create an anger free zone in a school? How we can create? To some extent only. Yeah, to some extent only. I agree with this. To yeah. some extent only. Extent. Yeah, but as I said, that CBSE has asked this to C make an effort. CBSE will ask many things which is impractical in our life. We know, we know. Many things are not practical. But, but they are asking. Yeah, theoretically they are asking. <laughs> okay, sir. To measure our temper or something like that, they are doing this kind of things. See, we okay. Okay. is not following any of your instructions. Okay, thank you, ma'am. I believe It's not right that uh, uh, we cannot make any. Uh, CBS is just telling something. Anger free school means uh, an effort which we have to take. Earlier we used to have a different mindset. Now we are changing ourselves. For a long time, it is an ev evolution. We have changed from our, uh, uh, the way we uh, approach to our uh, students. So, anger cannot be controlled. That is one thing. But see, teachers are not just uh, uh, one who is there to give information. In a way, we are also a uh, dramatist. We see, only thing is that 
when they become anger, it should be genuine. Yeah. They might feel the genuinity. So sometimes we have to be angry. Sometimes we, 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 we should be uh, emotional with them. Yeah, that is why. That's why I say that we are always a dramatist in the past. One who knows the past, where we have to change the gear, we have to know. That sometimes we have to, be, uh, we have to uh, make our eyes red. No. And then the next moment, we have to uh, embrace that. We have to see that. You are not getting angry with that particular person. We are angry with that behavior. So to rectify that, we are getting angry. But we are not having any crack with that person. So students very well understand that difference. And until and unless an option is there or some guidelines is not there, we will be like uh, uh, the traditional way we will be uh, behaving with our students. Uh, is that degree where we have to approach? Huh? Yes. Because they have already stopped the physical punishment. Yes, yes. So we can, it is not sure 100%, but we can up to the 90%. Right, right. In situational basis, we have to uh, uh, apply it and what we said now, uh, meditations really help to at least know. They may not be uh, directly, immediately affecting it. But I can for sure say that meditation will help you, you uh, also as well as students to, to certain extent to think is a pause, is a giving a positive to a, a, a particular situation to help you to recover from uh, uh, and uh, 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 come to your normal sense. Suppose when you are uh, 10 uh, and uh, we are not able to uh, uh, proceed with your uh, normal day-to-day uh, -day life. We just, at that time you may feel very difficult to sleep even. You are so much worried about. This backward counting and sleep, that is a part of yoga. And automatically you will sleep. So that also, what uh, what you are doing, what you are winded, uh, you, you made your mind so tense, you start winding. That tobacco is on. They are making why that? That particular area 
even from inside we may feel that this is a free zone where we should keep uh, ourselves away from such type of things. Thank you. Appreciate the classroom, those who are making uh, the class only. The signboard, the students will be reminded that this is an free zone, so they will stop using slangs. They will uh, just try to be calm. Yes, Sumit sir. Yeah. Yesterday itself, yesterday itself, after the exam, I found, I was just in my washroom, I overheard that after the exam, one of the uh, students using uh, that uh, slang, mother slang, I, I was so surprised. Inside the campus, they are so free to. So, slang, uh, they are, they are, they are made the campus. Uh, 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 it was slang prone uh, area. Yes, Nowadays, this is very yeah, we, are, we are afraid to do all those things inside the school and uh, 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 with regard to slang, with regard to smoking, with regard to uh, all sorts of indecent things. Inside the campus, we never do, but outside, everyone, my card card, one or uh, one song, uh, or uh, many a time. So, that very very understanding and is changing. School campus has become now uh, a area where they can express their fullest of emotion without any fear, uh, and uh, they are not bothering also to tell such type of things. Thank you, ma'am. Personally, I feel that uh, anger is a basic trait, no problem at all. Happens with everyone. So, but in our time, we used to play for two hours in the evening, four to six, and in, and we used to perspire. So time was there, sir. And these days, students don't play, sir. So the intoxicants is already inside inside the body is around. At the same time, what I feel that uh, uh, it is the root reason of the indiscipline activities as well because intoxicants of the body remains inside. So, it is our sole responsibility being a teacher we have to work over here and uh, only we can counsel them and we should try to make an interview of our school or anywhere we are living on. Thank you, sir. Why I said meditation? There was a reason. I would like to just present an example which is a real uh, like example that happened with me in the classroom. When I entered the class, I asked my student, I said, 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 फिर उसके बाद मैंने इंटरनेशनल शुरू किया और मैंने अपने बच्चों को कहा शांत हो जाने के फिर बोला आंख बंद करने के लिए विद सेट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन लेट मी टेल यू फादर व्हाट हैपेंड देयर वाज अ गर्ल सिटिंग इन द बैक बेंच शी स्टार्टेड बिटरली क्राइंग लाइक समथिंग बिटरली क्राइंग सम इमोशंस आर देयर व्हिच आर सप्रेस्ड विद इन अस एंड वी आर नॉट एबल टू रिटेन दैट even that to our parents. So we as a mentor, we as a guide here, you know, it becomes our duty from time to time to help our students, to counsel them. I called her and I just tried to I mean, ask her what was the thing that was actually disturbing her. She's doing well now. I won't take the name of the child over here. She's doing very well now.
this remarkable and worthy presentation. And as you said, the only key for the holistic development is the happy learning. And uh, that's only possible when we make our premises an anger-free zone by the philosophy of Aristotle. Be angry to the right person for the right reason and to the right degree that's important as said by the Aristotle. We will always follow that philosophy. And thank you for sharing all the anger management mantras here with us. And I am sure that our teachers have got lots of takeaway from this session. And thank you teachers for your valuable suggestion and sharing your classroom experiences here. And let's all work together for making this premises an anger-free zone. Thank you teachers once again. Have a cheerful day.